Grammar Bites, Lesson 18. Today we're talking about the question mark. Remember that Grammar Bites is a series. This means I want you to watch all the videos so you learn all the rules of grammar. If you haven't done so already, go back and start at Lesson 1. When I say the word question mark, what do you think of? What do you already know about it? Is this what you imagined? This is a question mark. In today's lesson, we will talk about what it looks like, what it is called, and what it does. Let's start with what it looks like, or its shape. This is a question mark. What do you notice about how it looks? I would say it's part of a circle with a little line going down and then a dot underneath. Let me show you a few more versions of the question mark using different fonts. This is a question mark. This is a question mark. All these are question marks. Look at them. What do you notice? They're sort of the same and a little bit different. To practice writing the question mark, let's use this shape because it's easy. Now you can practice drawing with your finger on a desk or you can practice with a pencil and paper, or you can practice finding it on your keyboard. And it's good to practice the same shape a few times so that you really get it. The second thing we're going to talk about is the name. Do you remember what I called this? Question mark. How many words are in question mark? Let me say it slower. Question mark. How many words? Two words. Question mark. Remember that the space between the two words tells us they're separate words. And when we say it, we just leave a little space in between. So question mark. Do you want to try spelling the words question mark before I tell you? If you do, pause the video. If not, keep going. I will spell it for you. Question. Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N. Question. Mark. M-A-R-K. Question. Mark. This is a question mark. So now we know what it looks like and what it's called. What does it do? Maybe you want to think about it or talk about it or write about it. How do we use a question mark? A question is asking for something. Here are some questions you've probably heard. What is your name? Who is your teacher? When did you come to Canada? Where do you go to school? How are you? Do you like pizza? Are you happy? Is this your pencil? Can we learn about grammar? I bet you can think of many more questions. Now, what do you notice at the end of each of these sentences? There's a question mark. The job of the question mark is to show us that a question is being asked in writing. Let's practice with just one question. What is your name? Listen to how I said the question. What is your name? Did you hear that my voice went up at the end? So because my voice was rising, you knew I was asking you for information. You try. Ask, what is your name? Remember to have a rising intonation at the end. When we're listening, it's easy to hear that there's a question because the person's voice goes up at the end. But when we're reading, one of the clues that's a question is the question mark. So can you read this? What is your name? Now, what if we had the same words, but instead of a question mark, we had a period? What would that sound like? Listen, what is your name? Could you tell it was a question? Let me do them again. What is your name? What is your name? <laughs> it's hard to tell the second one's a question. We can make it even shorter. How would you say the first one? Name? Name? Okay, how about the second one? 
name. Name. It sounds different. And the question mark in the first one tells us that information is being asked for. Today we talked about the question mark, what it looks like, what it is called, and what it does. I made you a really quick quiz. It's just three questions. Do you want to try it? Number one, show me the question mark. This is the question mark. Number two, what is this called? Let's do a multiple choice question. A comma, B period, C exclamation mark, or D question mark. What's it called? The answer is D. It's a question mark. Question three. What is the job of the question mark? What's the right answer? A. To say stop. B. To say slow. C. To show asking. Or D. To show yelling. The correct answer is C. The job of the question mark is to show asking. Here's Grammar Bite 18 to help you remember what we talked about today. Today we talked about the shape, name, and job of the question mark. The shape is this. The name is question mark. The job is to show the reader that there is a question. Next time I'll talk about the question words. Thanks for learning with me. We'll see you next time. New videos in the Grammar Bite series will be posted on Thursdays and Sundays. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. You can also find my videos for free on my website, www.mycanadianenglish.com.